It is a great day to film, audience. I have a box. This is a Dell Inspiron 13 5000 series, 256 gigabytes solid state drive, Intel Core i7 8th generation. So this is a 2018 edition. I already opened this box because I had to edit videos for you audience, but let's get into the box. Power cord. Power cord is connected right now to my Draycast light. That power cord is in use. Comes with a pen, comes with a pen and a battery. So pen, battery. Ugh. Ugh. The laptop has HDMI, two 3.1 USB, headphone jack, one 2.0 USB, and a SD card which I have a SD card in there, a LED indicator whenever you're charging this laptop, two speakers, one on the left, one on the right, rubber grip so it won't slide anywhere. Opening up the laptop, it can have laptop mode or tablet mode. Keyboard is really stiff, not the best keyboard. Um, trackpad, not that great, very clicky. 13 inch IPS. Now, if you're visually impaired, I would recommend always get any kind of laptop that has a IPS display, great viewing angles, and it is touch. So whenever you're on a web browser, you don't have to use the trackpad to zoom in or zoom out. So it's easier to use, using your hands to zoom in or zoom out, a lot easier. So that is a look at the Dell Enspern 13 5000 series. Commence the B-roll. This video is not sponsored. Here is all the specs for the laptop. Here are some things if you consider to purchase this laptop. For a thousand bucks, you're getting a plastic body. It's on the bottom is plastic and on the top is plastic. Also, the speakers are on the bottom. Like who, who creates speakers on the bottom? The Dell Inspiron 13 7000 series had speakers on the sides, which was way better. Would I recommend this laptop? Well, if you can't purchase a gaming laptop, I definitely would recommend this. I would recommend a gaming laptop, especially for video editing and doing heavy load. This laptop is for basic, basic functions. It doesn't have like a good graphic card. This laptop has a web camera and a facial recognition. So I use a very basic called Filmora. It is way better than the Windows video editing software. I had a Dell Inspiron 13 7000 series and I tried DaVinci, I tried HitFilm Pro and I even tried other video editing softwares and what would happen is that it would crash. So I just went with Filmora. Here's the thing I would say, video editing softwares don't make your videos great. What makes it, what makes your videos great is having a, a good lens and a good camera mirrorless or DSLR. I'm trying to find a video editing software that has a setting where I can adjust the, you know, have a bigger font or something like that. 
If you know a video editing software that has like large print or at least has a setting of it to make that large print, comment below. Uh, I want to know. Of course, I will upgrade. This is just a temporary use. If you thought this video was helpful, share it. If you like this video, hit that like button and also subscribe. Until next time.